What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm explaining how easy it is to get your first client without having any client history whatsoever. So this question has been raised so many times lately, so I figured I'd make a video about it. How do you get your first client when you don't have any client history at all? I figured that I would just dive right in and tackle this one head on because it is one of the easiest ways to explain away or to get your client to be at ease without you having any client history. So it's not like every recruiter was just born with a huge client history. They had to have gotten their first client somewhere along the line and then continue to get clients thereafter. And at that point, it gets a little bit easier. But at the same time, I'm going to demonstrate to you in this video. So watch start to finish how exactly easy it is to demonstrate to a client how you can be of service to them even though you've never had a client. First things first, I want you to understand that 99% of the time, clients will never ask you about your previous clients. Just as a matter of respect, clients don't go out of their way to ask you how many clients have you had before and who were they and all the details about your past history and recruiting. They just don't go there. As a matter of protocol, respect, dignity, it's just not something they tap into. This would be like going on a first date and at dinner asking your date how many partners they've had and what they were like. I mean, am I the only one that thinks that would be really, really weird? The initial conversation you have with a client is very similar to the first date scenario, right? 99% of the time, they are not going to ask you this question. So that fact right there should ease your nerves right off the bat. But of course, this video would not be informational if I didn't engage the concept of a client potentially asking you about your previous client history and all about it. So let's just say you have a super weird client interaction and they decide to ask you all about who your previous clients were, how many you've had, what their names were and what you did with them, how your results were with them and just pretty much anything they want to ask. They have no boundaries and they just go crazy with their questions. I'm going to make this really short and sweet. You do not have to answer these questions. This is actually one of those times where you can cite confidentiality or privacy policies that you as a company have with your previous clients. Even if you don't have previous clients, you can simply say, I don't answer those questions or as a matter of policy, I don't discuss any previous clients. That in itself is not an actual lie. You're not admitting that you haven't had a client. You're simply saying, if I did or didn't have a client, I wouldn't talk about it either way. However, there is one caveat to this. Now, clients can ask you this question if they're super weird, but they can't ask you who the clients were and they can't ask you detailed questions about those clients. However, they can ask you something like, have you had a previous client? Now, honestly, here's where things get easy. Yeah, easy, not hard. Now, in a previous video, I mentioned that there are three things that clients use to size you up before they decide to sign an agreement with you. Those would be your credibility, your results, and how you can help them. Now, it's incredibly fair for them to ask these questions and size you up this way because at the end of the day, they're the ones that are going to be shelling out the money for your services and they want to know how good the services are going to be. So looking at your credibility, talking about your results and figuring out how you can help them is definitely something that's fair for them to go after. The client wants to make a good investment, get a good ROI on that. And of course you want to perform well for them so you can get a referral and just keep a good reputation and deliver good on your name. Now let's just get straight to it. The reason that it's actually easy to get a client with no past client history is by harnessing the three things that I mentioned above. Credibility, your results, 
and how you can help the client. Let's talk about the credibility portion. Be exactly who you are. Don't try to fake it until you make it. Don't try to act. Don't try to flex. Don't try to be anything other than you. There's no one else like you and everyone loves the real, true, genuine you. There's only one of you out there and that's what people are attracted to. Not a watered down, fake version of you. When you're being yourself, you're being credible. You're being vulnerable in being exactly who you are, unapologetically, truly who you are. And that's actually a super generous act on your part because you're showing someone your true self. And that's quite rare in today's society. And guess what's even better? Clients respect that. They don't want some showboat acting fancy and flexing and being all fake. They don't want that. They can smell that a mile away. They don't want to deal with that type of person. They want someone genuine, real, authentic. They can get fake all day long, but fake gets real old and fake is too common. Genuine, authentic people that are credible are not. The flexing, acting out, fake it till you make it strategy always loses 100% of the time, guaranteed. When you are your actual self, like the true you, people, not just clients, but people in general, are attracted, scientifically, attracted to you more because of the authenticity, because of its rarity, right? Like I said before, in society, being genuine, being authentic is a rare thing. We don't find it too often. The next item that makes it super simple to land your first client without having any previous client history is the results piece. Now, I know that sounds super counterintuitive, but hear me out on this. It would seem that your client would want someone that has tons and tons of experience in this space, placing people left and right and knowing every single thing about that industry. Not the case. What you must now do is build on top of your credibility, your complete transparency when it comes to results. Whatever you do, don't lie ever with your client. Now again, let me preface, this is only if this client is asking you about your previous client experience. If they do this, then utilize the following. Tell them that your agency is a relatively new venture. Tell them that you or your team is very well versed in the space. Explain to them that you have a very large network to pull from, including ex-colleagues and former classmates. And last but not least, explain to them almost verbatim, since you don't have a plethora of experience and previous clientele in the space, that you want to make this a compromise and you want to give them a fair rate. Now, I know it's hard to fathom this happening, but you will grab so much respect from your prospective client, you won't even realize how respectful they will see you. The client will be blown away. Why? Because they're used to frauds, flexors, liars, People that just tell them crap all day long. They're not used to genuine, authentic, credible people like yourself. Keep in mind, clients don't need a specific recruiting vendor. They just need the right recruiting vendor. So by showing this client that you are a credible agency, showing them that you don't have previous clients, but... You make up for that in the fact that you have a large network that you can pull from and telling them that you can help them well because you know the space and you'll come to a compromise on a good rate with them. You'll be able to win the business. Going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, 99% of clients will never ask you this question about your previous clients at all. They won't put you through this ringer. It's not standard protocol. It's not normal. And it's not something that happens. But if it does, now you have an easy and quick framework on how to angle your entire conversation to literally 
flip the table, and win the business. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give that like button a smash. Hit the subscribe button as well as the alert button so that you know every single time I come out with a new video. Until then.